one thing I will say so that we don't repeat anything, I would say boldness. Boldness, and then I would say, I know this may be funny, but avoiding pain. Um, so boldness, I would say there is such a spiritual boldness that comes when you're living faithful. Um, there's such a spiritual burden that comes when you've been living in right standing. There's a spiritual boldness that comes and a confidence that comes uh, in your role in any type of ministry, in any type of servanthood. Like you, when you know your hands are clean, there's a beautiful boldness that comes. Mm -hmm. And I think th that, that there's a joy behind that. Um, and ultimately, even though we're called to come boldly before the throne of grace with confidence and without fear, it's a lot easier to approach the throne of grace and confidence without fear when you know your hands are clean. And I would say, um, you know, that that's so important, um, very important. And I love what Ashade said, too, about clarity, like your ability to hear um, and see is so amazing. But when it comes to avoiding pain, I will say this. When you, you know, the Bible says to become one. Um, and when you're in a relationship or a romantic relationship with someone and you are engaging in any type of sexual activities, even if y'all are not together per se, um, that, that separation process, um, because it, it is very spiritual, it ultimately, it, it's very painful. God can restore you, of course, but there is a ripping away of the flesh. Um, it's very painful, very painful. And I... I know that uh, we're going to get into that question later on, so um, I'm not going to go too deep into that that separation mm -hmm. process, but that is, I would say, if you're like me and you don't have a high tolerance for pain, I would say those are some of the benefits uh, to not repeat anything anybody says. So boldness, and you get to avoid some unnecessary pain. Mm 